we go. So we're hitting record. Well, once again, uh, traders, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'll just turn the camera on for uh, just uh, a moment just to say g'day to you all. Just move it out the way. So it's great to be here. So over the next 90 minutes to two hours, I'm going to be covering a lot of information. Now, there's so much I want to share with you in so little time. And just going by the amount of members that are logging in, I'd say half of uh, our attendees, we've got over 300 booked in, are actually existing members. And many of you are already members in the live room. Now, I don't know how you even got invites, but anyway, you must be special. So uh, uh, welcome. So uh, I'll get to the slides in a moment. So I'm going to cover a great deal of information over the next couple of hours. My end result is I want you to learn more and I want you to come and join me and uh, I want to be your coach. But what I've got to do in this two hour session is, look, I think it'll end up as close to two hours. I've got to earn the right to have you as a member. So stick around because I promise you, I'm going to give you a huge amount of information and even I'm even going to give you the secret of a source, um, to, the, to the magic source or whatever we want to call it. So I'm going to be really drilling down on some trades. And so uh, with the screens here, I've got a number of uh, screens up, I've got six screens. And so we're going to be looking at and looking for some live trades as well. However, just subject to the volatility and what we've actually got setting up. Because as we say, we can't force a trade. We've got to have one come to us. So let me turn the camera off. And let's now get to the slides and we'll start from here. So traders, um, as I state here, if you're serious about a part-time or full-time income day trading, this will be probably one of the most important masterclasses you'll ever attend. Why? Because I'm gonna tell you how it is. And you know, once again, traders, there's so many webinars out there, there's so much false information. I'm not gonna tell you that you can master this in a few days because it just isn't true. But you can master the art of day trading. Now, there is a, I do need to put up the risk disclaimer. I do wanna say, I will be showing some testimonials later of some trading results from some of my members, but I just wanna say that I can't guarantee you're going to succeed as a trader because that as you're going to see where most traders go wrong, it's about psychology. And we're gonna be talking about the psychology of trading, putting a lot of time into that today. So I just wanna say about, I'm not giving you any guarantees on the testimonials. Uh, and in fact, um, for the first time a few weeks ago, I said to some of my coaching, my live coaching members in a, in a special trading room I've got running that, um, uh, I want testimonials from you. I think it's the first time I've ever asked for testimonials. And um, uh, so, and by the way, I'm not showing those ones here as yet, but long story, understanding the risk. There is a risk in trading. Uh, if trading hasn't been kind to you up to now, if you're already an existing trader, um, and you're not making money, stop trading right now. Let's get you to the simulator and let's start you from there. If you're considering trading for a first for the first time, that's why you're here to really find out a lot more about the huge potential as a day trader, you start on the simulator. You don't go live until you're consistently profitable. And so we spend a lot of time on risk. So, um, and, and how to get to a live account. We'll talk more about that as we go along. So in today's masterclass, you've probably heard this statement before, give a man a fish, you feed him for a day, or woman, uh, teach a man the fish, or woman, and you feed him or her, sorry, generic, uh, for a lifetime. And it's so true. So I'm gonna be talking to you mainly about one or two setups that kick butt every day if you follow the rules and their mechanical rules. And so we're going to be looking at those on the charts. Now, I'm not going to pull any punches as well. I'm going to tell you how it really is and I'll hold nothing back. Now, I'm going to be telling you what it really takes to become a, a to really master the art of day trading and the fastest way to get there. And so, look, when I type this in, I'm going to teach you how to trade some of the world's most reliable, highest probability. Well, look, you're probably not going to pick them up just in this session, unless you're a really good trader. Okay, but they are mechanical, they are rules-based. So I just wanna be careful when I say that. But what I am gonna do is lay the foundation to really give you a great overview on how to approach day trading and how to succeed at it. And when it comes to day trading, 
Success is never due to one thing, but when it comes to day trading, failure can be. In other words, if you start counter trend trading, if you're not following the money management rules, all of these things can destroy your career very, very quickly. And we'll talk more about that as we go along. There's another challenge that I'm going to have having such a large audience, and that is uh, for many of you here, a uh, lot of familiar names and long-term members. So welcome, great to have you here. I didn't know you're all gonna be here. But anyway, um, uh, as you hear me, they, they hear me, for the new people that don't know me, they hear me talk about this all the time, and it's called Mindset. Uh, Car Dr. Carol Dweck, who wrote this excellent book on Mindset, she actually is a colleague of Dr. Um, Andrew Huberman, the neuroscientist that I was, some of you might have just heard me talking to some of my existing members about. And what they've studied is those that are more likely to learn a concept. And that is for many people, as they become older, they develop what we call a fixed mindset. Traders to succeed at what, or, or to succeed at, let me get that right, <laughs> to succeed at what we do, You've got to have a growth mindset. You've got to be open-minded. Likewise, some of you, if you're a seasoned trader or if you found trading difficult up to now, or maybe you're an older person and you might have developed a fixed mindset, it's really important that you be open to the ideas. Doesn't mean you don't verify them, but you be open to what I'm going to share with you today. Now, a lot of the things that I talk about in coaching and in live trading now really comes down to the science of learning. And we're not gonna go in, that's really beyond our session today. But dopamine, um, uh, and David uh, Hulk, you know what I'm talking about here. Uh, dopamine plays a huge role in mastering the art of day trading. You see, 90% of day trading is psychology. It truly is. And this is why um, so many traders will give it up or so many traders will log off and say, oh, what he's saying already is BS. Well, the fact is that's why they're not making money. Because once you master your mind, you're going to master trading because trading is nothing more than a pattern solving exercise. Now, this slide here, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over. Well, that's what most traders do. So what I'd like you to do today is to be open-minded to the possibility that there may be alternatives. Now, who is today's masterclass for? It's not for everyone. If you're seeking a part-time or full-time income, if you're new to trading or even a struggling trading or an experienced trader seeking to increase your bottom line, then this is for you and here, down the bottom, I say, it's, forgot, I put that in. It's not for everyone because a lot of traders can't handle the truth. They don't want to hear that you need to be capitalized correctly. And I'll share with you and I'll be showing you a chart what you really need, how much capital you really require. And then on the other hand, you've got those traders that'll attend classes like this and they'll say, teach me something new. I already know what you're teaching in this class well, why aren't you already making money? You've got to master the fundamentals and the fundamentals will make you a lot of money anyway. But so many traders, they just want to get to something new when they haven't mastered those fundamentals. So it's also not for dabblers. And what I mean by that, you just can't dip your toe in the water when it comes to trading. You can't be half pregnant. You've got to, you know, really learning how to master the art of day trading is not rocket science. However, you have to be committed. You've got to become a student of the market. But it's great that it's not rocket science. That's why I'm so good at it. But you can learn this too. But you've got to be willing to put the time and effort in. Now, in today's workshop, we're going to be covering a lot of information here. Okay, and some of these will skip over fairly quickly, but some of these like where to enter a trade, where to place your stop, where to exit are very, very important. And as I said, we're going to be looking for some live, live trades. And today, and for my members in the room, uh, we're going to be looking at the big contract on the ES, but it's going to be subject, of course, to setups. Now, I also have a chart set up for oil. Okay, so we might look at the, um, the Texas T. 
um, uh, the black gold, we'll just see what we have set up there as well. So we're gonna cover as much as we can on this. Now, very quickly, uh, why should you listen to me? I've been investing in the research and development of trading systems and strategies for over 27 years. I've employed full-time traders to trade my account. That's a whole nother story, by the way, how that went. Consultants, CTA, software programmers, uh, and you name it, I've probably invested in it. I now have an edge, and that's what it really takes to succeed um, as a day trader. And you know, if you like, I've discovered the Holy Grail, and I'm going to tell you what it is. It's discipline, patience, um, uh, following the trend. It's just all the stuff that most people know about, but we don't follow. But we'll look at more of that and talk more about that in a moment. Now, this is what most traders do. They go out there and they buy dozens of courses. Okay, so this is me in my boardroom there. So I've got, you name it, I've probably invested in it. The advantage I've got is I love learning traders. I love learning and I've got this massive thirst for learning. What that means to you is I do this full time and I get to share with you all the good stuff that I come across. And so anything new or research or, and you know what, there's very few well, there's not too much new stuff under the sun, as Gan said, there's nothing new under the sun. But what there is new, when it comes to trading systems and strategies, yes, there might be perhaps a slightly better indicator or a better type of chart. But when it comes to the fundamentals, what, what is new is the science of learning and how we apply that to trading. Because it's not the setups that let the traders down. It truly isn't, as you're going to see. I'm going to show you a heap of setups and you'll go, well, yep, I see that one, I see that one. And so what it is though, it's our hesitation, it's our fear, a whole lot of other things. So we, we may talk more about the role of dopamine and some of the other things that come into play when it comes to mastering day trading. Now, most of you know I'm a researcher and so therefore I've got dozens of these books where I take my notes and I, as I said, I just love this stuff. What's that mean to you? I'm passing the best of the best. I've got hundreds of folders on my PC of you name it when it comes to trading, famous traders, um, psychology, indicators, etc. And when it comes to indicators, I've got hundreds of them. I've either purchased or have coded. You may be thinking, well, how's that help me? If there's something better out there, I'll tell you about it. And guess what? The, the, some of the, well, the free indicators that virtually every trading platform has does everything you need. They truly do. Now, if you're brand new to trading, in today's webinar, some of the things I say, really, you may look at it, it's like drinking out of a fire hose. Well, this is where I say we break it down, you focus on only one or two setups and you start from there. And we'll talk more about that as we go along. Now, one of the questions, as we do look at so much information, you think, can I really do this? Well, you can if we follow what we call the Goldilocks rule. Now, the Goldilocks rule states that humans experience peak motivation when working on tasks the right, that are right on the edge of their current abilities. Not too hard, not too easy, just right. In fact, Andrew Huberman, the neuroscientist I was referring to, just on the weekend I was reading a research report on this, and that has been further confirmed, that there's now research out on the best way for us to learn, is to find something that really, it's just right for us, not too hard, otherwise we give up. If it's too easy, I'll oh, stuff that, you know, oh, that's a walk in the park, we tend to walk away. It's something that is just right. And that's why it's important that when you approach day trading, that you only look at trading one or two strategies at a time. That is, once you own those one or two, then you may consider adding another one. Now on top of this, as I've really already mentioned, today what I'm sharing with you is only a tip of the iceberg. However, I'm still gonna give you some of the most important information that you need to really form a baseline of where to start from. 
This is our first step. And what I've now discovered in science, this is also one of the most critical steps we can do. That is by creating, creating a plan. Now as Tony Robbins says here, setting goals is the first step to turning the invisible into visible. Now on that point, we've got, uh, and I know a lot of my members here are Tony Robbins fans. And most of you have heard Tony talk about the Dickens process. Now the Dickens process is a really interesting um, uh, process of using the conscious mind to visualize future paths and to really create a new path in your life. What's interesting is now the, some of the latest science that is out and research, and Tony's been doing this for years, and he's really, it's come down to really, this concept came from Tony, that it's one of the best things that we can do for furthering our career, the Dickens process. So we're not gonna, we don't have time to go into that today, but for those Tony Robbins fans, uh, um, Dr. Uh, Huberman doesn't mention the Dickens process, but he describes it exactly that it's so important to our success as traders. So traders, this is a business. We need a trading plan and we've got to set some targets because what we do know is when the why is big enough, the how will appear. Now I'm going to give you the how. I'm going to show you how to achieve these targets. Uh, what you've got to do is implement them. And I call it get rich slowly. And that is, I'm not gonna promise you riches here. It takes time, but we're going to do it logically, okay? So how do we target 500 to 10,000 a week as an income and starting with a small account? And the reason I give the variance, because I don't know your personal circumstances, what your goals may be. And no doubt we've got some young guns here, that have even grander goals than what I'm going to be speaking about here today. So this is where we start from. First of all, how much trading capital do you have? We never, ever, ever, did I say ever? Ever break the rule of risking any more than 2% of our capital in any one trade. And as you build your account, you lower that. You wanna get down to 1%, okay? So yes, you'll have a lower return on capital, However, there are old traders, there are bold traders, but there are no old bold traders. Meaning money management is a critical factor to what we do. Now today we're going to be looking at the two tick Renko on the ES. Now, uh, we actually, we may even look at the one tick. I'm just looking at the one tick now. Now for the one tick, for Oh, is that the one tick? Sorry, yes, that's the one tick. This is the one tick right now, by the way. Now, the one tick Renko, each one of these steps, and we're gonna look at different types of chart types today, is worth $12.50. Now, we also have the micro contract, which is excellent as well, and a great spot to start. It's only $1.25, it's 10% of the value. And I meant to take that one's not indicated, it's not meant to be on there. It's not, in, so here, by the way, the market only opened back here. And this is what we call the Globex session. Now the advantage of trading, you can see it's plodding along quite slowly. The advantage of trading a one tick Renko is you can have a smaller account size, okay? So the higher the time frame you go, such as when you're trading during New York, if you wanna trade the ES like today, you really needed to be trading a four tick. Now, what that means is your stop loss is going to be between 10 ticks and 14 ticks, okay? Now, a 10 tick stop loss is $125 and a 14 tick is $175. So to stay within your 2% rule, realistically, you need around $9,000. Now, we, can, we get into a lot more of this in my general training, but this is important. Now, even if you had a large account, 10, 20, 30, $50,000, I would recommend that you start off with a micro contract and you trade the MES or the MNQ, which you, and you can start there, as you can see there, with as little as five, $600. 
you cut your teeth on that market because you trade exactly the same setups. And as you're about to see, when you build your account, you then jump up to the big contract. Now, what if you're already experienced? Well, you might say, right, I love the CL, the black gold, the Texas T. You might be trading between the two and the four tick. You need to between four and $7,000 in your account to trade that realistically. You might use trade the Euro dollar. There's a lot of markets that we can look at, but here's the bottom line. So, so if you start off and let's just focus today on the ES uh, with a $4,000 account, which means we can go to a maximum stop of $80 to stay within our 2% rule. Now, as I said, I'm gonna give it to you straight traders. Um, I'd love to say you can do this with $1,000. You know what, you can, but you're gonna lose your money. That's the bottom line. So you need to have a minimum of four, but remember you can start off on the micro with as little as $400. So if you earn an average of $100 a day, and I'll show you how to do that, okay, you have the possibility, the potential of be earning 10,000 a week in only 30 weeks. Now, before you say, and, and the seasoned, the uh, the fixed mindset traders say this can't be done, BS, I'll show you how it's done. Rule number one, we trend trade only. We start with one setup and we trade with the trend. Now, let's look at the second target. What if we go for 150 a day? And we'll look at how realistic that is when we get to the live charts, we're there in 18 weeks. What if we start with, we get up to just 200 a day? We're there in 12 weeks and just one more, we go to 300 a day. Now, if you're trading during the New York session, if you're putting in two hours, that is extremely realistic for a good trader, okay? You're there within eight weeks, starting with $4,000. Now, I'm gonna share something else with you that most people won't share with you. Do you know why? Because it means you've got to put some work in to do it. How many trades a day do you realistically need to implement to hit that target of say 200 a day? Well, if you've got a six to six, which is realistic for what we're looking at now, that is I've got a stop loss of six ticks. I've got a target of six ticks. I've got a 70% win ratio, 30% loss. I need to uh, execute on average eight trades a day. And if we just look at this, okay? Now, for members in the room, there's many of you, so therefore, you know, I'm not telling any little furfies here. What have we got just there? Uh, you may not be used to the green, to the blue, but that's your 21 and your 34. Using your rule of one, there's your hook, there's your hook, there's your hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's your tail, so you know you've got this, your six. Just subject to the speed, I'm assuming here it's ticking away like it is now. We now have a secondary entry right here with the hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. There is your second six tick move. Okay, this is trading with a trend, ignoring counter trend trading. Uh, Richard just said, ah, looks like I am good on you, Richard. Okay, so as I said, traders, you've got a lot of our existing members here. Now, let's take it one step further because this is what you've got to look at. And it comes down to, and this is where I'm really excited for my members now because I can, I've always spoken about this, but it's always been from Ray's point of view. But now I've got scientific proof that what I've been teaching, I'm really excited about this. And for those existing members, I've got to show it again, sorry. Traders, by the way, I do, and g'day, Jerome, one of my one-on-one -on -one clients, I do get excited about this, okay? So where you've been hearing me talk about Dr. Huberman, some of the stuff that I've been teaching for years, he's reinforced in his papers. So anyway, not knowing me, of course. So I'm gonna share that I've had my staff transcribe these for everyone. So I'll, I'll get you copies of these. And so, um, what it proves is all of these steps that we're taking here also increase dopamine. Now, dopamine is known as the good feel drug and dopamine when it comes to trading, believe it or not, is very, very important. And we'll 
talk probably more about as we go along. Okay, now what if then you're really good on your two Bs? I, oh, oh, good idea. Do you, do you like my shirt? Thanks, mate. So here, uh, uh, the win rate there, 80%, 20%. So if you're just trading two Bs, um, you should be getting way up there to 80%. You need five trades. Let's just take it a bit further here. Uh, now, what if you're after $300 a day? If you're trading, save in New York, there's a couple of complications there, and that is the stop loss, okay? But if you're a real scalper and you use hard charts, which I want to quickly show, see, I've got so many members here, um, you, you might be able to get away with the six tick stop, okay? But there, of course, you're going to be able to go for much larger targets. All right, now, what if you don't have 4,000 to start with? Let's quickly look at this. Well, if you don't have 4,000, you can start with the micro. And this is one of my members sent this to me, uh, Raymond, the great member back in January. Now, about, it must be 18 months ago now, the uh, CME, um, they introduced some new micro contracts for the NQ, uh, for uh, the ES, for, um, uh, what is it, the Dow, for the Russell, and of course, there's now one for the for the oil as well, which is 10% of the value. So what this means is you can um, now get involved in day trading, uh, the futures markets. Hello, Jan, I just saw you up there, um, uh, Jan Payton. Um, so you can now get involved uh, in day trading with a much smaller account size. And that's a huge bonus because as I mentioned, even if you've got the money, a larger account, start with a micro and give yourself time, okay, to build your account. Because the greatest challenge I have with traders is dealing with the psychological damage that has been done by traders that have blown their account once or twice. Now you may think, is that true? You bet it is. You go and blow, you go and blow your account once or twice. It might only be three or four thousand each time. And what that does mentally, it, it's serious. It's a serious challenge. So starting with the micro is a great way to start. So if you start with a micro ES, and I've bumped it up to 700, and I only go for $20 a day, 20. See, what you're actually doing here is you're building both confidence, but also something called competence. And you're also building Discipline, you see, discipline is like a muscle. The more often you execute it, the better you become at it. So by being patient traders, by saying, okay, I'm gonna start here for the next 90 days. So let's just say you're an impulse trader, which is a, a constant challenge that traders have. You force yourself to start from there. Now, now I do have to pull this up because this is actually really relevant to this. Something that uh, Dr. Huberman's been saying is, let me get to this. Where is it? Now, most of you or most members are familiar with this handout in the coaching classes. I talk about this all the time. Is that if you've suffered, uh, say, from your trading or compulsive trading or whatever, this is how we start to retrain you. That is, you could, this, these are all in Word documents. You might start off with one trade, two trades. You tick those off and you celebrate. And what that actually does, it releases dopamine. Now, what's interesting, and I don't want to get into this too much, but Dr. Huberman's come up with that. You can take somebody that has a great opportunity straight in front of them, but if they are, uh, they lack dopamine in their system, they're not likely to go for it. On the other hand, you get someone that's pumped and they will go for the opportunity. Now, each time we tick something off, it's a reward system. It's fascinating. Even something minor as this, we start to build self-trust. And so where I've been promoting this for years, and so do other people in other industries, uh, like having a checklist, it's now proven that that it's releasing dopamine into your system, which helps you learn. So you start off with this, on this, and you're building confidence and a ton of dopamine in your system. But seriously, you start off with $700. And how this works, so you may be thinking, how do I get up to 10 grand a week in only 30, 
eight weeks. Well, with this spreadsheet, I'm saying you need $700 in your account per contract you trade. Uh, and you can only start trading a second contract when you get to $1,400. You can only start adding and trading a third contract when you get to 2100. This is very extremely conservative. Now, why is this important? Because it's about using the market's money. Now, what you may decide, if say, if you've got the capital, you might decide by week 20, okay, I've got this down, I trust myself, I'll now add and I'll start trading a major contract, a big contract. Now, see over here, it says 100 contracts here, you're earning 10 grand a week. In fact, there you'd only be trading 10 big ones, okay? So once your capital builds, you jump up to a large contract anyway. Now, what if you want to be, if you say to me, say if you're suffering at the moment from a hardening of the attitude, okay, attitudes, okay, um, now, I need to give you a check up from the neck up. And how I do that, traders, is let's break it down to a really low target, $10 a day. What would it mean to you then? It's going to take you 32 weeks to build your capital to 4000 It's going to take that long, $10 a day, part-time income. Now, down here, once you get to 4000 you can then start trading the big contract because only on 100 a day. Because if you're on $10 a day on the micro, you then go across to the big one, $10 is the equivalent, sorry, 100. What this means to you, and this is where putting a proper plan in place somewhere to start, and you can evolve from there. It means that starting with only $700, in 32 weeks, you're up to 4,000. Once there, you then go over to the ES. Then in 30 weeks, you built your account up to there, Within the bottom line is this, it's taken you 62 weeks to get there, one year and four months for financial freedom. Now, time's gonna pass anyway, okay? So it's time to start and get this underway, something realistic. This is a real plan for traders. But as always, you start on this simulator, you get it right and you build from there. Now. Most of you will remember the excellent movie City Slickers. And I don't know, if I, look, I remember it from way back in the 90s, it's a great movie, but towards the end of a movie, um, you've got Curly, the great late Jack Palance, who's riding back and he's talking to Mitch. And he turns around and gives some, some philosophy to, 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 to Mitch, Billy Crystal's character. Do you know what the secret to life is? Curly held his finger up and Mitch said, what, your finger? He said, one thing, just that one thing, you stick to that and the rest don't mean shit. But what's that one thing? That's what you have to find out. Now, I'm gonna tell you what that one thing is. In fact, it's one thing in a number of areas when it comes to trading. The one thing in money management, we never ever risk any more than 2%. And it may, may mean initially starting off, it might be, by the way, you might love the Forex market, you apply the exact same concepts to Forex or stocks, but you start off never ever risking any more than 2%. Okay, that's the one thing there. The next one here is, is something that Mark Douglas talks about, unfortunately too. Mark passed away too early a few years ago now. And in his excellent book, The Disciplined Discipline Trader, page 209, he talks about this. To become an expert, choose one simple trading system that ident identifies a pattern. And what he says there is that one that is mechanical rather than mathematical. So you're working with a visual representation of the market behavior. So what we wanna have is a pattern-based um, strategy, something that we can visually see that sets up, that's visual. The next thing we want to then do then, we've got to master the fundamentals. And most of you remember the great movie, um, gee whiz, um, uh, Karate Kid, I forgot the name of it then for a moment. We're in the mastery, wax on, wax off. And what we mean by that is you focus on one setup. Now we've all probably seen or heard of this 
statement. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. What that means to us is becoming a master at one or two setups only. I keep talking about the 2B and the 34B. They're basically brother and sister and they set up almost next to each other. If you're after one, just one, it's the 2B. Now, Linda Rashke, been in the business, a wonderful lady, great funds manager, as and also a great educator. She says here, let me say the majority of professional day traders I know tend to specialize in one pattern or trade, just one style. And you'll hear me talk about this all the time because this is where traders are going wrong traders. They want to take too much on, trade too many markets, and a lot of this comes down to greed. You really get rich slowly. When you change that, change that paradigm, things will start to change for you. Now, I've already mentioned to you the benefits of trading with the trend, and there's some great books written on uh, Robert Miner where he talks about high probability trading strategy. Yes, it's about trend trading and it's also about using higher time frames, which we're going to look at. Uh, Michael Covell here, trend of how great traders make millions in up or down markets following the trend. Now, in this particular case, we're going to be looking today at trend trading and we've got a couple of rules. First of all, we never risk any more than 2%. Critical, that's one of those one things. Second, we trend trade only until we're consistently profitable as a trend trader. And the safer option then moving on is you never, ever, ever counter trend trade. Now, the other thing here is, which is where so many traders go wrong, we limit the number of setups we initially trade to two. Now, what you will see in a moment, you'll see I've got a lot of different setups that I trade or train my members in because I've got such a wide variety of traders. I've got some traders that have been trading for 30, 40 years. My best trader, uh, John Y, as you know, consistently earns $20,000 a day. Most of you know with John. So some of you, some of the traders make the big bucks. So I'll talk about the variety of setups, but initially, become, I call it becoming a specialist. The next thing here is discipline, patience, focus, and you've got to become a student of the markets. In other words, you've got to commit that if you're going to day trade at least two hours a day, turn the TV off. You know, as I say, what's the television really cost you? Not to buy one, but to go and watch your cable each day, study. It's not rocket science, but it'll make you a lot of money. Now, a couple of other really important things here is that uh, this is a great book by Dick Diamond. And as he says in this book, he says he identifies the 80-20 trades, that is trades that will produce profit four out of five times. And if it's not an 80, he calls it the 80-20, he won't take it. He'll stand aside. He'll just say, right, it does. if it's 60-40, forget it. Then Marty Swartz, and uh, my members hear me talk about Marty. Marty's, uh, what is he now, 78, been in this business a long, long time. Uh, he is exactly the same. And in his uh, book, actually, was that written in it? I think actually this might have been in New Market Wizards. I can't remember now. But here's what he says. I'm a scalper. By that I mean I'm in and out quickly. Always, always, always. I'm in and out in five minutes or less never more than a couple of hours. Most books on trading say you've got to be right three or four times out of 10 if you cut your losses quickly and let your profits ride. That doesn't work for me. I need to be right seven or eight times out of 10. Red light, green light, one of these rules, allowing a trend. He uses a 10 period EMA. I use typically an eight period, 13 and 21. We've got a range of EMAs that we use all exactly the same. So what I'm really showing here is that what I'm teaching you is not really unique in many ways, it's just a combination of a huge amount of research, but based upon what many other traders do. Do you know why it's called modeling? Because it works. So how do I achieve 75% on average? The trend is your friend. We wanna go with the flow of a river. 
Now, I actually, that little statement I had uh, at the start, um, that uh, you know, give a man a fish, you feed him for a day, teach him how to fish, you feed him for life. I was actually um, looking for uh, a quick, I found some pictures, but I didn't have time to sign up to get them of someone teaching someone else how to fish. But bottom line of fishing, if you're gonna go fishing, you wanna to go to where most of the fish are. And so for newer members in the room, or those that aren't yet members, the dark blue line represents, okay, the dark blue line represents the higher time frame. Now you'll see me use up to three time frames. Don't feel overwhelmed. And when I say that, what is also very, very important, traders, is that the language that you use to yourself as you're trading, what you say to yourself as you're learning, if you if you get extremely frustrated with yourself, oh, I'll never pick this up. Guess what? You're right. This is very important part of learning how to trade and how to learn in general. So what we're looking for on our entry chart, we're looking for retracements and to trade back in the direction of the higher time frame. And so we've got some very specific ways we do that as you're about to see. Now. When it comes to trend following, I'm not going to go through all of these because <laughs> there's many different strategies that I teach. The ones you really want to focus on. The T1, the super scalper, is more of an indicator. Okay, and we're going to look at different charts, by the way. And I'll show you what my chart looks like. But say if you're using MT4 or Think or Swim, I'm going to show you what a plain chart might look like using similar indicators, okay? So you can so you compare, compare. So I'm gonna quickly show you that in a moment. So what we're really looking at here at trading is really the two Bs and maybe the 34 Bs, but pivot magnets, kick butt, okay? Um, and we'll look, at, we'll look at pivots in a moment. So there's a lot of different types of strategies, but do you know what nearly all of these are? Well, actually they are all are, they're trend following. And why do you have so many? Well, when you've got different trading conditions, you might use a different setup, but you only need two to start with. Now, this is uh, in reference to pivot magnet trades. This is from one member, swear by the pivots, it's increased my confidence by 200%. Another one here, you're right, this is back in 2020. Uh, uh, pivot magnets are uh, kicking serious butt. Now, in this case, these are trend following strategies. Let's remember that. This is back 2016. Um, three, this is a winning ratio back testing of 34 Bs, 82%. Here, um, uh, actually, Dave, are you here? I think I saw Dave. Uh, no, he's not here. So Dave, who many of you have, from Saddle, many of you have heard me talk about, he's, he's been on the road. I get his, um, whoops, and let me just turn this off. Sorry, everyone, I've got my, damn it, I do this every day. I forget to turn my emails off, but here we go. Um, Dave from Saddle, uh, specialised in trading the 34Bs and the 2Bs. Okay, kicks butt. Um, here, uh, another member here, just on, on the, uh, this is on the ES, trading the 34Bs, up 75 ticks. Look, I can just go on and on, trading the 34Bs, 2Bs, et cetera. So what I'll also teach you if you become a member, and we'll look at if we see something on the charts in a moment. Yes, we're gonna be there soon, uh, is divergence strategies. However, when it comes to trading divergence, so here I shorted five contracts there and that was a T10, that was straight off a 2D. Members, remember what I say about T10s, we only wanna take them after great divergence, that there was a 2D, sold it into the 89, it works. But do you know what? It's a lot trickier. Yes, you can go back on a chart and say there was a great divergence trade, but they're a lot trickier. Now, here is a 1D, pivot bounce. Here is a 3B up there, sorry, a T3 bouncing off the round number on oil. And then we've got our traditional 2B, the one that we're going to be focused on today. Um, ah, okay, Th Andrew, thanks for sharing that. So Andrew said that I try to trade the trend, there's a change in direction that gets me. And if I remember, we'll talk more about that if you don't mind, when we get to the charts too, Andrew. So I'll try to uh, get to, Andrew, are you a member by the way? If you are, drop me an email on that as well. 
Okay, so look, there's a lot of other strategies here, change in trend, divergence trading, counter trend trading. We wanna forget those. Remember, we wanna keep it simple. Oh, great, Andrew, okay. Drop me an email, mate. I'll send you some information on that as well. All right, but as we say here, don't forget, if you don't keep it simple, you'll lose focus. In fact, many of you uh, hear me um, talk about Ali, one of our members. I've actually got just an email I'll show you soon when we get to it from Ali. And he actually said to me um, in an email you'll see soon uh, that really he'd underestimated and I was dead set about decision fatigue. So what exactly is that? When you trade, I want you to pretend traders that you're trading and you've got a bucket of water. And every time you make a decision, you take a cup of water out of that bucket. Within a few hours, you're becoming exhausted. It's called, it's a scientific um, term now, decision fatigue and ego depletion. They're both very closely related. And it really has a big impact. Now, the more, like, it's like the greater number of indicators we've got on our charts, the more likely we are to become fatigued and make mistakes. The more setups we trade, the same thing applies. Now, once again, members and traders, this is stuff that most people don't want to hear about it. And that's why they'll continue to blow their account. So why do the strategies work so well? Let's consider the logic between a T1, behind T1, with trend T2, all of these, they're trend following. So we're trading in the, tr in the, in the direction of higher timeframes. Now, the issue is not whether or not these strategies work. The, rule, the real issue is, will, will you follow the rules? Now, there are some times, for an example today, where if you were normally trading the ES with a two tick chart, we're on the ES today, we had over 2 million contracts trade, you need to increase the time frame. So the only times really that this is gonna knock you out above that is really with a 2B, you should be receiving or achieving at least a 75% win loss ratio minimum. However, if you're getting stopped more than 25%, are you trading the right time frame? That's the thing where a lot of traders will get it wrong. Now, fundamentals, we won't go too much into this, but, but really we need red flag news. It's so important we know what's happening out there. On your margins, your 2%, do I have market volume? Does the market trim well? A lot of these are what we call fundamentals, but you need to know them. But where we really start to drill down traders is the important stuff. What indicators do I really need? Where do, where's my entry? Where do I place my stop? Where's my target? Now, if you're a one contract trader, so if we get some trades today, we're just gonna trade one contract on the, bit, on the ES is that I will always go, well, I nearly always go for a fixed target anyway, I'm a scalper. But to trail, tr look, if you're a one contract tra um, trader, I recommend you go for a fixed target, okay? Um, if you're trading multiple contracts, then you can consider trailing thereafter, okay? But the other consideration is something very, very important, which we'll talk about when we go to the charts in a moment, is do I have blue skies ahead? In other words, what's in front of the trade? So a couple of things there, we've got pivots. Now pivots are a predictive, or one of the very few predictive indicators. You see most indicators um, uh, will plot on price. So it's basically, it's based on history. So yes, pivots are based on open, high, low, and close from yesterday, but we plot them in advance and they're a predictive indicator. So, and there are two important levels, main and midline. Now, for a new person here or a new trader, you can think, oh, shivers, now you're starting to lose me. Once you understand the logic behind them, uh, you'll go, aha, now I get, it's not rocket science, okay? The next one here is the open high, low and close of the prior day, very, very important. And virtually every trading platform now, you've just got a free indicator there where you can plot that. And as you'll see, they act as price magnets as well. Price support resistance levels are very important as are major EMAs. So what do I mean by that? 
major EMAs, we look at what's happening on a higher time frame. And in fact, let me quickly show you this now. Let's quickly go. Now see this just here. So right there, I've got a 200 EMA on a two tick chart. So let me show you this because this is a great running example. Let's drop down to a one tick here. Uh, not the one tick huh? Let's go to the one tick Renko just here. Now, this is where we've got to be very aware of major EMAs on higher time frames. And let me just drop this down here. We're going to come back to this. Now, what I've got here, traders, and let me stop this from moving all over the place for you. So right now I've got what we call a one tick. We'll look at we're going to look at other types of charts in a moment. But right here I've got a one tick, a two tick and a four tick. Note on the two tick, see that uh, line there, that's a 200 EMA and this is a 200. Now, when I say we got blue skies ahead, when you're selling into a 200, quite often we'll get, and by the way, that's a 21B, uh, we'll quite often get a lot of resistance or support at this level. Now we'll come back now, see this just here. See how we've come back and bounced off for 200, the 89, the 200, the 200. Traders, do not underestimate the power of your higher time frame. Off the 89, off the 200, off the 200. We see this every day. Now, we tie this in, there's a, there's a way we do trade them, okay, and we can use that. But if you're selling, so if we go back to our entry chart over here, this is our lower time frame. We call it an entry chart. If you're selling into a 200, it's a lower probability trade. Okay, so we've got to be aware of that. So getting back to our PowerPoints. Okay, so major EMAs is something that hardly anyone talks about. It's very important. Now, why scalping and day trading works so well for me? Now, traders, we all have different personalities. And for my season members in the room, how often do I talk about, I'd love to pick up the runners, but I'm an in and out guy, okay? I, I wanna scalp the crap out of market, I call it. And you know what, I've discovered what it really does, it lowers the stress. I've got a smaller stop loss, I'm in and out much quicker. That suits me, but it's not gonna suit everyone, okay? Now, as I say here, in order to be successful over time, one doesn't need to have the ability to call market tops or bottoms. You just got to need to really identify where we stand in the trend, which is what Andrew was asking about before. Now, Andrew, I'll, I'll remember that when we get there, because remember, if I, if I don't get into it, I want you to just put in there T20 and I'll come back to that. So, the concept is simple, what we're about to do when we go to the charts. We're gonna find setups that are in harmony with the trend on multiple higher time frames using the cloud, the T78 or the ATR. Now, if you're a new trader, you can start with one time frame. And there's a formula that I use for different markets, different time frames and the different types of charts. A bit beyond today, but it's really straightforward and it's logical. Now. So in other words, if you'll say using MT4, and I'll show you a plain chart in a moment, you use a different type of indicator just to confirm, or you can confirm the overall trend. Okay, this is very important. Now remember, traders, time is not on our side. We are what we call momentum traders. And as I say here, in real estate, it's location, location, location. We're in, real, in day trading, it's momentum, momentum, momentum. By the way, was anyone watching the ticker today on um, Twitter? <laughs> okay, um, Just absolutely going crazy. That's not my type of trading, by the way. All right, I like to slow down a bit. Absolutely crazy with the, the market on Twitter today. All right, now, chart type. So we're just about to go to the live chart. So a couple of things, first of all. We can apply what I'm about to show you to any type of chart. So if you're an experienced trader, um, uh, you might be using a time, tick, volume, range, Renko. I can ask you, not too many traders know about HA, huh? but you can be using any of those. 
uh, for your chart type. So you can apply my strategies to any chart type. It really doesn't matter. And I'll show you a couple of alternatives uh, there. Now, when it comes to Ha Renko and Tick, I'm best really showing you here on the charts themselves. So just to make it easier and save some time, when it comes to Ha and Heiken Ashi, which a lot of traders do, uh, ha is a combination of Heiken Ashi and Renko. Okay, and by the way, see that blue line there? There is a pivot line, and that is actually a T28 coming down. So a T28 trade is, is when you sell or buy with the trend into a pivot. And that's actually what we call a midline pivot. It dramatically improves the probability of a trade selling into a pivot. So um, a hard chart for me is even smoother and better than a Hakanashi if you like that style of trading. So let's get to the charts. So uh, so let me just do this here. So before I, we look for some trades, let me just show you a couple of things here with the different types of charts. Now, I get asked virtually every day about Heikinashi charts. So this is actually a, a one minute Heikinashi. Okay, uh, and you're looking at the shaved bottoms or the shaved tops to stay with the trade. Um, look, they're good, and the whole idea is that you stay with it till you get a color change or you get a spinning top. There is a better alternative, and I'd call that a ha. Okay, so that's where you got a combination between a Renko and a Heikinashi, as you can see I've got just here, where you'll get a spinning top. Uh, works brilliantly and it's an indication of a potential changing trend. But it also can help you stay with the trade because you stay in it until you get that spinning top. Now, Heikinashi candles are uh, uh, calibrated or calculated on the past two candles, on two periods of time frame, which means at times you'll see a price plotting over here but it's different on a time-based chart or a standard Renko because it will work on an average. Okay, so a couple little tricks with it, but Heiken Ashi and Ha can be great ways of trading. I prefer the Ha, if you're gonna look at it um, by a mile, by the way. Now, what I've got here is a plain uh, Renko chart. Now, Renko candles, you can get for Think or Swim, MT4, virtually any trading platform you can imagine now. And notice here, I've got the tails on these ones. So that's really important. Now, if you're trading uh, MT4, if you become a member, it's easy. Uh, in the members area, in the MT4 folder, you'll see that uh, I've got an MT, where is it here? To show you this here. Uh, there's an MT4 folder and in the members area and in there you'll find uh, a link to a third party that sells a great, and no, I don't get a commission for it, a great um, uh, Heikinashi, sorry, a great um, Renko and Heikinashi candle for about $50, which you uh, plug in for MT4. Uh, and just while I'm here, if you're trading uh, NT8, or trade station, I've got a ton of indicators. They're all included, they're all free. Okay, so there's, and, and I should say, there's no indicators to buy if you're looking uh, or considering joining me. But this is what a normal chart would look like, standard stochastic, and the reason I'm bringing this up is that when I go to my charts, the NT8, they look different. It's because I've got some customized indicators, uh, more for NT8 but there's virtually, there is hardly any difference. So I've got the white paint bar, the super scalper, I've got that for MT4, it's called the scalper, I think we've got it for think or swim. And even if you've got a platform there, which I don't have the indicator, it's a little pattern, but once you understand the pattern, you'll know it straight away anyway. The other type of chart we've got there traders is also tick charts. The advantage of a tick chart, as you can see, it's nowhere near as smooth as, say, a Renko or a Ha chart. Uh, very similar in some ways, they can look, look a bit like time-based charts, is that you'll get more entries in a market. And I'll also give you, like, see that just there, we're about to get 
was about to get, if this candle closes red, we'll have a slingshot trade. So if this candle closes red here, uh, now see here the countdown timer, now this is an 89 tick. So this once this gets to 89, this will then close this candle once we get to 89 looking at this and you've got a slingshot. As soon as we hit 89, you've got an entry. Now what you could actually do now is put a sell stop in the market below the low of that candle by one tick. Now see how it hasn't closed? See how I don't have the hook? Now, see this here? We call these short-term stochastic hooks. There, you had one there, okay? On the way up, you've got one there, you had one there. On the way down, but that's called a slingshot. Now, the concept of a slingshot, traders, has been around since, gee whiz, 30, 40 years. Nothing new um, in a slingshot. But if you're trading with a trend, it kicks butt if you trade it. Now, that there, traders, is also a 34B as my members can see. So you had a 34B there and you actually had a 34B there. If you're waiting for your slingshot to confirm with a hook, wait for this candle to close. You've now got it. You've now got a short. Now, if you were shorting there, see this here? This is nothing new. This is just a swing low indicator of the last swing. Now we've got to remember, on this, we've got a, a challenge. Can anyone remember, anyone remember what it was? Here, remember we were selling into the higher time frame EMAs. Remember that? So that is why you need to look at regularly. Look at that. What's happening on my higher time frames? So you had beautiful sell signals. You were trending down, but you were selling. So what do we want to do? We want to just sit, well, I would want to sit this out and just see what happens if you get multiple entries, but I'm jumping ahead a little bit here. So, um, so I've shown you tick, I've shown you the plane chart, I've shown you hard chart. So let's just go and start to drill down on this. So let me just pull up my uh, chair here and let's just go straight to Renko actually. Now, I prefer to, tr to trade using uh, a combination, let me just get to this one here, of, just get this along here, of both Renko and Tick. And what I mean by that is I will be looking at on other um, uh, charts, other screens, what exactly is happening uh, on my Tick charts, because that'll give me a lot of information as well. Now let me just check, two, four, seven, okay, yeah. Now let me just start, look at this here. Now, let me just start with the question that um, Andrew had. So Andrew, as a member, you know what the T20 is, when you have the eight cross the river 34. So that's actually the blue arrow, okay? So most trading platforms, you can just code that in. Uh, if What trading platform are you using, Andrew, if I may ask? If you're on NT8, just go into the NT8 folder on my Google Drive and just look for um, NT8, beautiful. So go into the, uh, if you haven't already, if you go into the NT8 folder, look for the folder called Raise Charts and you'll find in there and other folders in there also, the MA Cross Builder where you can set that up to get the arrows. Now, traders, what we're looking at here is what I'm really talking about here is this. How do we identify the start of a trend and the end of a trend? Now, what we look at and see that this is what we call chop. We're chopping backwards and forwards. Now, let me just scroll back a little bit. Now, this is uh, today's ES action. Now, let me say straight away, this is on the two tick. Now, let me go to the four tick. And <laughs> The reason I'm going to the four tick, the two tick today, was just too fast. So if we're trading a market and the market is too fast, we, we've got a couple of choices. We either increase the time frame we are trading, or we look for another market, or we stand aside, okay? Now, as trend traders, what we're looking at doing here is trading with the trend only initially. 
Okay, now for the experienced traders in the room, I know you can see you had one there and you had a secondary entry of air, beautiful divergence trade. Okay, but what you're really looking at doing is trading these. Okay, so that would be a 2B, that would actually would have been a 3B, a 3B, that would have been a 2B, that would have been a 2B, that would have been a 2B. Now, what makes them 2Bs? It means I've got multiple EMA bounces on different time frames. Now, here, if you've got NT8, you can have the cloud or you can be using what we call the T78. And let me show you what that is for those people or those traders, sorry. Uh, I'm pretty certain I set it up on a screen here somewhere. Let me try to find it because I just want to show you what it looks like. I'm pretty certain I set it up. Did I not? No, maybe I didn't. Okay, so the T T78 is a concept I got from Jake Bernstein where he uses um, uh, two moving averages. He, he forms a channel and it can actually help you pick up the runners, but also on your anchor chart, stay with the trend longer. But look, rather than going backwards and forwards, let, let me just get to the charts and I'll stay focused on, on this for now. Okay, so we can look for some setups. And I'll give you a running commentary, but what I was about to say, sorry, Andrew, is that when you have a T20 setup, that would usually signify potential change in trend. Now, what you can also have set up is what we call a T20 trend continuation trade. Now, anyone can learn this. The T20 trend continuation, see up there, you've got a T20 changes what will quite often happen or come down and bounce and then it reverses back in the direction of the trend. That's called a T20 trend continuation. All it is, is an eight period crossing the 34 period. Now, what I discovered years ago, and for many of you have known me for years, I used to use a 50 CCI zero line moving average. Sorry, zero line moving average. Let me get this right, I'm tired. 50 CCI um, indicator at the bottom of my charts. And the rule of thumb is when you're above the zero line on a 50 CCI, you're generally looking for long trades. It's a great trend directional indicator. When you're below the 50 CCI, you're generally looking for short trades. I discovered that quite accidentally that when the eight EMA crossed through the 34, it coincided, coincided with on tick charts an exact crossover. It was quite, oh dear me, I can now get rid of an indicator off my charts. Now, you can see here the blue indicators I've got here. I want you to look at, see how it's blue, I'm blue, and I'm blue. Now, what this, just an easy way of identifying particularly for newer traders that, hey, I'm only looking to take long trades when everything is heading is blue on all three. It's a simplified version, but that's what we're looking at. But let me drill down the first things we look at when we look at any chart. Okay, so let me expand this and slow down a little bit for myself. Let me also remove the open high long, sorry, the open high low, sorry, swing low and swing high indicator here. Uh, let me just apply that, remove that. And the reason being, I'm really more interested in these swings on my anchor charts on the higher time frame. And the reason I bring them up is that when you short, so if I went short here, we're always asking where is, and you know what, I might even short this I'm just considering shorting this. Let me just have a look, a quick look. What have I got just down below here? What? Uh, look, let me just, um, I'm just getting, damn, it's running away from me. I'm just, look, I've just put an order in here to go short. Yeah, I'll just see if it comes up. Now, this is a higher risk trade. I'm gonna stop these from moving around because it's gonna drive everyone crazy. So let me just do this. Now I do have a, a resting order in here because I don't want to pay too much for this, but I'll also tell you it's it's a high risk trade and I'll show you why uh, in a moment. Okay, so 
uh, it's already hit four ticks, so I've got to take it off. So let me just explain why this was a high risk trade. This was also what we call a 2B. So for existing members, uh, that higher line was a 21. Okay, and you can see there we hit the 34 and the 55. My concern with this trade is this. Remember on the little checklist I had earlier, are we bouncing off major EMAs? Uh, Jay, this is uh, NT8. So this is Ninja Trader 8, this particular platform. Uh, I've moved from TradeStation about six or seven months ago, Jay. Now note here, the 89, see how we're still in an uptrend just there. No worries, Jay. So what that tells us, well, actually, let me ask you, what does that tell me about the overall trend? So this tells me that since well before the market closed, um, the market's in an uptrend. And I should just explain this for brand new traders. Um, what happens is the market, the futures market closes at uh, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time and it reopens at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Okay, it's what we call the Globex session after hours. However, we get some fantastic volume in that time. And so if you're a newer trader, when you get home after hours or trading this time frame is a great market. It really is. Like right now, if I look there at the uh, at the bids and offers, I mean there's 20, 40, 60 contract, there's plenty of volume. And if you're going to, and I know what usually, how many contracts could I trade? Realistically, you can trade 10 to 20 in this market, no problem. Uh, uh, g'day, Mohammed. Um, you can use exactly the same on MT4. Uh, I won't read out your um, uh, the last comment there, but this is where you've got to stop that, okay? And this is where traders, I'm really blunt with traders, is that, if you've been trading impulsively, you've got to stop because what you're actually doing is ruining your potential for ever succeeding as a day trader because um, we create habits. It's called negative training. Yes, you can use this on any uh, type of platform. Now, let's just say, uh, traders, that you want to go pro, you need to really be using platforms like uh, uh, Ninja Trader uh, or Trade Station. Okay, so you need to go for the pro plat platforms. Now, MT4 is great. It's a great way to get in to particularly trading the Forex market. Um, however, uh, long term, you'd want to go across to say something like NT8 or Trade Station. Our tools are very important that we have. I'm talking about tools, I better get back to this. So, what I was saying over here was, we were initially selling into the 89. Now see how many times we keep coming down and testing that 89 EMA. So we're gonna break through that. But let's look at some of the basics here. If you look at this here, can you see the trend? We call this a fanning of the EMAs traders. We call this a fanning of the EMAs. So when we start to see our EMAs trending in the same direction, we're looking for these retracements and pullbacks just here. Now I started to say this over here. Over here, when you've got a high and you have an entry, could be here, it might even be here. What we really want to look at is what's happening on the anchor chart. See that little swing low here? See that one there? See that one there? Every day you will see price action will come down and test those levels. See how price has come down and we've tested that one there right now, how we've stopped dead at that level. Doesn't always happen, but a good 80 to 90% of the time you'll come down and give it a little kiss or give it a test. Okay. Now, why you wanna know about these is besides that point, is that if you entered a trade up here and you were, and say if you're trading one contract, you might choose to go for a larger target because your last major swing was down here. Likewise, if we had a trade entry there and we don't, but if we had one there, we were coming down, A, we've got to get through the 200, but then we've got this swing point here. And note there, we stopped within one tick 
So I should mention, these are what we call zones. Okay, these are zones, are trading zones, back to support resistance. So whenever we trade, we're always looking at um, uh, where have I got what's in front of me. Remember earlier I mentioned, do I have blue sky? And what I mean by blue sky is, um, where are my major EMAs? Where are the pivots, which I'll show you in a moment? Uh, where's the open, high, low and close? And actually, why don't I show you pivots on this chart? So this at the moment is what I call my anchor, my anchor chart one. So we always wanna know where our pivots are. Now with Ninja Trader, you can actually have your pivots displayed here at all times. So if you say short on screen on screens, you can, get, you can have that sitting there and that tells me as price is coming down, where my pivots are. Now, why is that important? Because we bounce on pivots and there's my R2 and that stands for resistance two. Up there, that's the R3M midline. Now, with pivots, we tend to bounce between pivots and pivots when we're trading with the trend become pivot magnets. So if we roll over below this 200 EMA, this will be our target. It becomes a very mechanical target traders. Now, at the moment, we've still got some little challenges with this potential trade and it's this. See the flat 200 EMA, that's that, um, what do you call it, magenta type color. This is where it's the time for you to sit on your hands in most cases. We'll look at the other charts in a moment, but we've got to be very wary until we start to see our 34 EMA cross under the 200, okay? We've got to be very careful of this because on higher timeframes, what you can find is, Oh, it looks like we're crossing under, but on a higher time frame, you're bouncing to the long side. So let me explain this. It's a simple concept, just maybe takes a little bit of getting used to. And traders, let me say this again. Some of you are going to be going, oh, crumbs is so much to it, but there are a lot of moving parts. It just takes a few hours of training on what we're looking, let's say a few hours. Give yourself 50 hours, all right? This is a, a, a really a 90 to 180 day internship to really do this correctly. It's not rocket science. It's all rules based. What's in front of me? I've got a 200, which gives me some support. Now I believe we're gonna break through it. However, you need to be aware of it, okay? Um, so we've got all the tools, but the other thing we wanna be aware of is what we call the prior open high, low and close. Now, for yesterday, because we haven't hit midnight yet. So see that cyan line just there? That's the prior day's high. So these indicators will plot automatically. And down here, the red, oh, well, that's, sorry, that's a pivot, but that, that little um, hot pink there, that's the prior day's low. Now, once you understand those, it's not difficult, but it'll direct you uh, into when to sell into those and buy. Now, let me just teach you a very important thing about trends while we're here. If you look at this here, see how we basically got almost four at the same level. And look at your highs. So when we look at a trend, an uptrend consists of higher lows and higher highs. A downtrend traders consists of lower highs and lower lows. What do we have here at the moment? If we want to conserve capital and to be very cautious, what we can see here at the moment is we've poked our, our nose through by one tick here. We, yes, I've got a lower high, lower high, not a lower low yet. Okay, so we've still got a couple of challenges here. Now, for those that are experienced traders, I know we can look at this as what we call a descending triangle. But a simple way of describing this to new members, I think we're gonna go short, but is it an 80% trade at this stage? No. How you identify an 80% trade, do I have 
lower highs and lower lows, or do I have high lows and high highs? That will signify a trend. And this is where patience comes into it. And so if we go back to our anchor chart two, tr two trades, see how we're still in an uptrend. See how I've got all this support at the 89 EMA at the moment. So this is where really it's okay if I'm after the best of the best, I may just wait until I have some more evidence. Because of this, I would just want to remind everyone of this while we're waiting for something to happen here. Let me just go to this for a moment. Uh, now, let's just start, look at this for a moment. And if you said to me after hours, what's a really good target to trade? What's a really good target to trade? If I'm trading now, I've got a job, um, uh, I get home from work, I'm willing to put a few hours in. 200 is really a good target. Uh, now all that is, is three six step trades a day. And what I mean by that is, see these here, you'll hear me call them steps. So on this particular, oops, oh, that's an anchor chart, but on uh, a lower time frame, let me show you this, on this time frame, I need one, two, three, four, five, six. I need three of those net after any losses to give me $75 each, less the commission, I walk away with 200 net. Now, and on the commission, by the way, if you're wondering, uh, if you're not used to futures trading, uh, typically if you're with Ninja Trader, you're gonna pay around $4.10, I think it is. Trade station upwards of around five dollars. I think um, I think or swims about five fifty six dollars. Um, be very careful of brokers in Europe or the UK that um, uh, have got a spread. Okay, you want to be very careful with that. Commissions are very important. Now, if you start off by trading the micro, if we were looking at the micro charts here, they would look identical to this. Okay, with a micro, you're going to be paying around, on average, around a dollar twenty. Now, in perspective, on here we'd be paying. Let's just round it off at five dollars. Ten times a micro is say just say around a dollar twenty each. That's twelve dollars. So you're effectively, when you trade the micros, you're paying you're paying twelve dollars on ten compared to $5 and under on the big contract. However, treat that simply just as a cost of doing business initially, a great spot to start. Okay, so you start on micros and eventually you flip over to the big contract. Now the challenge we've got with this right now, we've still got this trading range. Okay, and, and this is what I mean by that. See how we're bouncing off this 89. So let's just say what we would be looking for here. Ideally, I would like to see price rally up and form a new higher high and, and a new higher low because we've sort of stalled in this area at the moment of a lot of support here at the moment of an uptrending 89 EMA. Remember, there's a big rally in the market before it closed today. Okay, so at the moment on the highest time frame, it's still at this stage trending up some hints that may be changing. Now, so this is where we'd look at something like uh, this and let me just do this here. So let me turn that off too, just for a moment. So it's probably, probably better. So here I've just dropped a channel in. So you can see there we had two lower highs and we had a lower low. Now, Yes, I've taken that low out, but I still haven't taken that out. So the market is still unsure. But let me tell you, if we break this 89 and come down to this channel, we've now made a second lower low. It could be a great shorting opportunity up here. Now, let's talk mechanical rules-based trading for a little while, shall we? Because there's not a lot happening here. So let's just talk what you would be looking at exactly in trading. Um, so let me just, uh, let me just quickly go to a four tick because this is far too fast. Whoops, sorry about that. Let's just go back here. 
I need a seven, where's a seven? And I'd need a 12. Did I have a 12 here? Yep, here's a 12. All right, so traders, let's go back and I've got, got it set up on the other, but until we break out of that range, it's very tight. We don't have any trading at all. And this is where, if you've got flat 89 or 200 EMAs, it's time to sit on hands, okay? It really is. So let's just go back. This is the ES today. And you can apply this to Forex. It doesn't matter what you're trading. It really doesn't. Now, what we're looking for traders, I'm just gonna scroll back and let's just go back to uh, 8.30 this morning. Let's go back to just link the timestamp down the bottom. Where is it here? Okay, so where's 8.30? All right, so what we're looking at, when the market opens at 8.30, um, uh, 9.30 Eastern, I call it the Kenley Field. We've got to be very, very careful in that time period, okay? Very, very cautious at that time frame. So when does it become tradable? When it is tradable, in other words, when it slows down. In fact, if you look at this here, you've got a number of minutes in between the setup. So what are we looking for? I'm looking for these EMAs to be trending in the same direction. Okay, so we come off a low here, and this is not a great example, but we're coming off a low. Remember the market's only been open five minutes, and we had a setup right there. It's a high risk setup. Why is that? Remember our rule, do I have blue sky ahead of me? Now, what do I mean by that? Where are the EMAs? Where are the pivots? Um, where are the uh, open, high, low and close? I want you for a moment, and let's just use two charts here. We'll just use the anchor chart one. Uh, uh, Robert, they're a, uh, uh, an 8, 13 and 21. An 8, 13 and 21. Normally, most, um, let's see, a member of the, Uh, g'day Jan, uh, yes, you'll find those, the setups. Um, let's see here, uh, where will you find those? There is a, a folder there called chart timeframes. Okay, you'll find them there. If not, drop me an email, Jan. Okay, you'll, you'll get all of those. All right, let's just talk very simply. So here I've got a potential trade. See right in front of me on the anchor chart, see that um, of my 200 and my 89 EMA, right there, I would be selling directly into those major EMAs. Let's just sit that out. It's too high risk. Remember what we were concerned about, what's happening on the anchor charts right now? Remember on the anchor chart too, how we're selling into the 89 and looking at it right now? We're still sitting at that 89. Now right there, if we had have sold into that, we would have been stopped out. A very simple rule. Whenever you see you've got a flat 200 EMA on your entry chart and or on your anchor charts, it's sit on the hand times. It's very simple traders. See this here? My EMAs are fanning, they're trending down. They're all in the same direction. Black in this case means I'm in a downtrend. Blue means I'm in an uptrend. So as I'm coming up here, we can see right there, I'm buying, that one there, I'm buying straight in. So, and look what happens. You would have been stopped out by one tick. And let me explain entries. This is very important. When I enter a trade, there are two types of entries I will generally use. If I'm using the white paint bar, the super scalper, I'm not going to be in generally until the close of that third candle or the fourth candle. And my stop loss will be one tick below. On the other hand, if I'm trading using what we call the rule of one, see down here I've got a short term stochastic hook. My entry is basically one tick above that. Now here's what it means. Now I've got a handout here to show you. It's this. If I'm trading uh, a four tick chart and I've got uh, a rule of one entry, I've got a 10 tick stop. 
which is $125 or $12.50 if you're trading the micro. On the other hand, if I'm trading using the super scalper, which is a more conservative approach, but it can be keep you out of some losing trades at times, I've got a 14 tick stop, which is $175. Now, on the micro, that would be $17.50, okay? Now, when I've got great trending EMAs, that's when we're quite happy to enter earlier. But see how now it's bounced down again and I've got a second entry. And by the way, what you're looking at, and in a way, this is good for you to see because this is going to be one of your most challenging zones you will ever trade. Why is this? See how I've got a flat 289. When you have your EMAs coming together, this is the challenging area. Blind Freddy can change can trade this zone. There was a nice entry, 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 anyone can trade those. This is where it gets tricky. And so we've got a simple rule and it's this, do I have a fanning of the EMAs? No fanning, no trade. Now that's a simplistic version. Now, just here, we would have been stopped out of that trade. But now I've got a secondary entry. Now this particular trade is a standout 2B. Why is this one to raise high probability 2Bs? I'm bouncing off multiple EMAs here. And over on my anchor chart one, I'm having a second go and I'm bouncing off EMAs here. There is one setup, traders, I want you to master, just one the two Bs. You master the two Bs and you've mastered your financial future. I'm serious. Now, there's a couple of things with a two B. And let me actually give you, and I'm, I'm gonna give you a bit of secret sauce for non-members here, okay? Here's what we look at. So, the easiest way to look for a two B is this. We look at our anchor chart. Do I have a trending 21 EMA or above? on the anchor chart one. This is the anchor chart one, the middle one, the, the one on the right. Yes. Has the candle closed? Yes. Do I have a short-term stochastic cook? Yes. Does the long-term stochastic, and this is just a bonus by the way, does the long-term stochastic confirm the trade? There's four things, yes. Now, the beautiful thing about Ninja Trader, and remember, if you're not financial enough for it yet, or if you're, say, still evaluating, or you want to cut your teeth for a while, uh, you can trial Ninja Trader. And by the way, I don't get a cent from Ninja Trader, but you can trial Ninja Trader free of charge, okay, for a period of time. But what I need to do is just do this for a moment. I want to show you what this really means. Let's just do this for a sec. You see, with NinjaTrader, we've got a little indicator here called a bar countdown in indicator. See this here? So if I'm looking at entering a trade based upon the candle closing on my anchor chart here, okay, this little tool will tell me, and so, so say this one where we are right now. If I wanted to go long, I can go and put an order in what we call a buy stop in advance and have it sitting there at 92.25. So when this candle closes, I'm automatically stopped into the trade. Likewise, if I wanted to go short, this tells me this candle will close down here and I can put in a sell stop at this level. Okay, so I can be stopped directly into the trade at that level. So let me just go just go back to here and get this back. So uh, so where I say what's happening on the anchor chart, well there, uh, what time have we got there? Oh yeah, so, so with that chart there, um, I can put in my buy stop. So that is a 2B. Now, that by the way, we would not have been in until probably here. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. That's an eight tick move. Now keep going. Okay, so went up to 10 ticks, but there is eight ticks. That's $100 in that move. Now let's look for another 2B. I don't even need to look at the anchor charts here. Now, is that a 2B? No, that is a 34B. Remember the 34B I mentioned is your second trade of choice. Why? It's a 75 percenter. Uh, yes, it is, Adrian. So you will find that in the NT8 folder uh, under raise chart. So go to the NT8 folder and look in raise charts. You'll find it in there, mate. So this is a 34B. It's not a 2B, okay? And the reason being, I'm only bouncing off your welcome. I'm only bouncing off the 13 EMA. Now remember, normally we'd be looking at this chart, okay? So, so here, uh, yes, Andrew, there is a workspace, but I don't have the cloud on there, but you will find some workspaces there. Now, see here, this is what you'd normally be looking at. And by the way, oh, look at that there. That's a, what do we have there? Beautiful to be short. Actually, for existing members, why don't I use this chart here just for now? Uh, oh, that's a four tick. I've got to, sorry, I've got to increase this. And some of you might even find this better. So let me just increase this for you. Let me just do this. So as I said, for those that are looking for the first time, I've got a lot of members here, a lot of members, existing members here. Uh, let me just do one other thing I should have checked there. Uh, default and four, let me just make that five. That's just the thickness of the width, if you're wondering what I'm doing. And rats, I went back to, notice this here, look at this, we're still just, um, uh, uh, g'day L. Uh, that's the bar status. Okay, that's called the bar status. You'll find that in the um, uh, the raise charts folder, L. Been too long, mate, haven't seen you for ages. So you'll find that in the in the bar stat it's bar status. You'll find it in raised charts in the NC8 folder. Look, I'm just going back here. Uh, you're welcome. Look, let's just take this period here, shall we? Because I want to show you some great trading opportunities, potential setups here. Okay. So what I've got here once again is the four, and I'll just stick to this this one just here. Now this trade here on oh, that one there too. Both of these are two Bs. This is the only setup. You, uh, Andrew, the cloud indicator is available. That's simply the, what I'll do, I'll answer the questions in a couple of minutes, guys. I'll keep putting them in, by the way. Please feel free. Um, uh, it's funny, Joe, you should say that. I was about to say that. I was about to say that same thing, Joe. I'm gonna answer them at the end. All right, now this is a 2B just here. We've got a bounce here, we've got a trend. Look over at your anchor chart, you're bouncing there. Here, this is a 2B. Do you have a fanning of the EMAs here? And do I have a fanning of the, I've got it there and I've got it there, yes. Now, where's my next 2B set up? What about down here? And let me just change this to, by the way, to white. Uh, cross here's. This makes it easier for everyone to see. Okay, now what is very important, a 2B is a trend following strategy. Very high probability, remember we're using our entry chart, we're waiting for a pullback and a bounce on a higher time frame. We want to be trading in the direction of the higher time frame. Now, as we're pulling back here, do I have any setups just here? Remember earlier, we were talking about the power of pivots. This is a pivot down here. Pivots offer both support and resistance. See here, we're bouncing off a pivot here. See that hot pink? Do you know what that is? That's a prior day's low again. See how we bounced off that level again. We then come up, we then made a new higher high, we've come down, 
we've bounced and I'm bouncing on my anchor chart one. Thank you very much. Now the stochastic I've got here is not, is a standard stochastic available in any indicator, in any platform, but that's the one. Okay, that's mine does exactly the same thing, but it's one line. So right there, I do have a 2B and I've also got a short term stochastic hook and it gives me what we call a rule of one entry. What a rule of one entry means, I'm in, I've only got a maximum of a 10 tick stop compared to a 14 tick stop. Now, remember earlier I mentioned, I call these um, uh, steps. How it works is, and, it, and it's, I don't want to get bogged down here, but different time frames will give you a step means something different. Like on a four tick Renko, a four, uh, each one of these steps is worth two ticks. So that is two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, at least 14 ticks. And sorry about the bin out the front, the garbage man will be gone in a moment. Now, the, we call these tails. Whenever you're doing any back testing, you've got to allow to tick through your targets, okay? Very important, always allow at least one tick. Now, if I was to enter this using a rule of one, realistically, I wouldn't be in probably until the close of the second candle. If I used a market order or a buy stop, where would my stop loss go? One tick below, where's my stop loss go? One tick, if I was shorting there, one tick, one tick, one tick, one tick. Now where there's an exception for my stop losses traders is in a fast moving market. So let's just say if the market really took off very, very quickly and you used a market order and say if my entry ended up here somewhere, I'm not gonna have a stop on this market. If you're trading five like I do on a typical day will be five lots. It means, you know, I'm gonna have an extra three to $400 risk, forget that. Okay, so what you then want to do then is say, okay, um, if a market's taking off, I'll just truly scalp, I will get out, but my style is I'll assume the same target. That's me, okay, I don't like it coming back against me. Now, that's a 2B, that's a 2B. Now back to here, this is where it gets a little bit tricky, but it's very simple when you look at it. We've come back to the pivot. Now this would be typically what we'd call a pivot bounce, but I don't actually have a trade yet. And the reason I don't have a trade yet, just here, my trade would be when I have my first candle close. See that green candle just there? And guess what? I've even got a short term stochastic hook. But there's one thing still going against me with this particular one. See how I've got three black EMAs there? My black EMAs except for one, and that's, and by the way, new me, uh, members, that's a five, it's not the eight, but the eight would be doing the same thing. See how it's black, the major EMAs, and even though I've got their green, okay, we don't have an entry until this candle. Why? See how now all three have hooked back up. Very simplistic, but very effective. Look at this one here, that entry we had back over here. All blue, all blue. See, we hooked up all blue. Now, before some of the experienced traders say, oh, this is bullshit, it's too easy. The difference here is, and excuse my language traders, is this. We're trading with the trend. When you've got inertia, you've got the trends gonna continue 80% of the time. The difference here is we're using the trend, waiting for the retracements and getting back into the trend when we have two time frames confirming the trend continuation. That's what a 2B is. Now, let's just take this for a moment, this one here. Now, there we wouldn't be until 37, okay, 37, 20, which is right there. So we would actually be in on the close of this candle here. So there are some main considerations that we have. So let's just discuss them, very important. Where's my entry? Where's my stop go? So my entry's here, my stop goes one tick below. Where's my target? 
Oh, you're welcome. Uh, thanks, uh, Mohammed. you're welcome. Where's my target? Now, first thing we wanna consider, what's in front of us? So see that white line there? That there is the prior day's close. Now I can see I've already tested that a number of times. See, see we kissed it there, we went through it. See we've been making higher highs, that's a good sign. Okay, so what's in front of me? So there I can see I don't have any pivots, so I don't have any major EMAs because see over here, they're all below me. That's great. So where's my last major swing high? Why do we want to consider that? Well, over here we can see, here is my last major swing high. This is what you'd be looking at at the time. Uh, let me just click on that so you know exactly what you'd be looking at. That's what you would have been looking at. Now, so what you can then do is say, okay, so down here, let me get back to that spot again, which is right there. Ultimately, I'm expecting to come up and test this high. Now we know realistically we could end up with an ABC, we could have a number of, but we get past this here, that would be an ideal target, okay? So that's an ideal target. So you, if you're using a market order, whatever you're using there, okay, here it goes. Now, as you come up to this high, and I've got no idea what's about to happen here, you wanna be pulling your stop loss up very tight here. Why? Time and time again, when we get to a major swing high, uh, and there it is, now note there, we then get a reversal. Now in this particular case, it's only gonna be a very short lived reversal, but see how we come up, we tested that high and we reversed. Now with this one, this is pretty minor, okay? Um, and I can tell you it's minor because if it was a major, my super sculptor would have plotted. However, this is what I mean when you get to these spots. Now that was a good, let's be conservative, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, look, there's a home run there. There's $300 in that move. Now, uh, but once again, let's not forget, we are trading New York and I'm gonna show you this. When you're trading uh, on the ES and you're using a 14 tick, you need to have an account there of around $9,000 in value or use tick charts or a few other things, which will mean you've got a smaller stop loss. And so what I mean by that is yes, we can trade the New York session with a smaller account, but there's other things we need to take in consideration, such as the chart type we're using. What you might choose to use by the way here, uh, Charles, I'm not sure why it should be faint. Can everyone else hear me okay? Everyone else see me? I think uh, no one else has mentioned anything. Is that any better? I don't know what I've done then. If I was, uh, but anyway, everyone can hear me fine there. So what you can also do, and I'll tell this for my existing members here, is if you're using, say, a heart chart down here. Okay, so, oh, great. Thanks, Greg. Oh, good day, Greg. And you're there, mate. Uh, not under Marilyn's name. <laughs> Sorry, one of my live trading room members. Um, so see here, I've got, uh, you like that one? Yeah, uh, right there. What a heart chart will quite often do, it will get you in earlier, and this is a four tick heart chart. It will get you in earlier. And now actually, let me show you this. Now for new members, or for, sorry, for, for traders that are not familiar with my trading here, we're looking at a lot of things here, but hopefully you're seeing you know, as my members would say, and I won't read out the comments I'll put in, but it's a gold mine because this is the last program you'd ever, and we'll get to it in a moment, exactly what my program is. But see this down here? As soon as I turn green here, see the spinning top, spinning top, spinning top? Look over at your heart chart here. See how you're all red? Now, now I'm green here. Actually, 37 italofib, there is the same entry. I was hoping to get you in earlier. However, what you'll find is quite often with hard charts, you can, you can have a smaller stop. And what do I mean by that just there? Once again, see how we're coming down here and I had the spinning top. With hard charts and with Heikinashi, when you have a spinning top, it, it marks because it's an average of the last two um, uh, time frames, last two, what's the word for it, candles, uh, it, it identifies a very high probability turning point. 
you'd still want to see and look at your EMAs if actually all, and actually you even had it on the red, I'm looking for those to hook to be in the same color. And so you still had a, an entry there. Now, the problem is I didn't want to really show members this, you know what they're all going to be asking in tonight's live session. Oh, can we look at the heart charts? But and just while we're here, you can see the advantage of heart. Some members love them. Okay, so see this here. This is a really good example for, for members, uh, for, for, for traders here that aren't members. Here. Uh, yeah, see you tonight, mate. All right, so what um, uh, what David just said, need to run race here on the next New Traders Trust. Uh, race, these setups work. Thanks, mate. All right, now see this just here. See how I've got red, I've got a retracement. I've also got a slingshot trade. See over here, got a retracement, got a slingshot. Look at your heart chart. See how it's all green. See the cloud here? It's all blue, it's all blue. There is a long trade, there is a long trade just there. Now, this is also one thing else, and we'll finish up on this because there's something important I've got to show you before we go. Uh, no, Andrew, but you're about to find out how you can, mate. You're about to find out. Now, see this here, PP? This is a pivot magnet trade, this is a pivot. These are a good 85%, 90% trade. And I'll tell you for, for traders that are experienced in the room that are not members, this is a trade you have to learn. Right here, look what's above me, my central pivot. I'm trading with the trend. Here is a pivot entry right here, a pivot magnet and bang, I go and hit it. You'll have these every day on every market. It kicks butt, it really does. Uh, see you tonight, Art, very good. So let's get to the rest of this then. So traders, look, unfortunately the markets are still, and I'll, look, let me just show you this, it's still going sideways. I don't have any live trades and just so you can see it um, here, let's just go here. We're still, well on, on the time frame down below, we're still sitting here. This is a no trade zone. This is these, this trading zone steals your account. And it's a very simple rule. When you're sitting on a major EMA, you don't trade. It's simple. Let's get this little baby wrapped up. So traders, now I'll give you um, uh, some insight to what I can teach you. Let me coach and mentor you in how to master the art for less than a dollar ten an hour live. That's right, live. Let me explain. So Traders, uh, where are we here? Let's just get down here. So option one, and we've actually got some of my live coaching members here, uh, traders that I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. So I charge, you know, this is ideal for large accounts and forget it, don't go and log off, don't panic here. But for those with large accounts or traders that wanna be trading very, very quickly and want my one-on-one -on -one attention, I charge $6,997. Now it's no more than what a good accountant would charge and I'll get you up running very, very quickly. However, I'm very time poor. I run um, uh, two live trading rooms. I run live coaching sessions. So I can only do one or two new clients a month. And usually there's a three month waiting list. So, uh, and I've got live members that are right here right now that are private clients. So that is one option, but also for a lot of members or a lot of potential traders, if you're new, it's probably gonna be out of your budget. So let me show you what the other one is for less, uh, it is Robert, for less than a dollar 10 an hour. So I run uh, two sessions, two live two hour sessions twice a week, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time co group coaching sessions. So we've generally got 100 to 150 traders from around the world in those sessions. They are recorded if you can't attend, but there we're going through every setup in great detail. Now, and if you're wondering whether is it really a gold mine of stuff there, let me just quickly show you. This is the April folder. I've been doing this a long time. So this is the April folder. We're in session seven tomorrow. So session seven is tomorrow night. Here are the handouts. So we'll go through just a small smidgens of these, but then we've got 
we'll discuss um, this PowerPoint in every session. Handouts is, you know, put in writing, we talk about different indicators, trading lessons. Now when it comes to trading lessons, I'm going through charts, but we're also then going through live charts, what's happening, what happened on that trading day. But I'll give you a ton of marked up charts. There's hundreds of them in the end, okay? So that is, whoops, did I just close that? Let's go back to that. So that's um, the first thing. The next thing is I run a, a London trading room which is um, three times a week, two hours. Now it runs typically 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. New York time, Eastern Standard, and 5 a.m. to 5 a.m. one week to seven, uh, one week, then three to five the other. Okay, so I have a live room. Uh, we've got about 100 traders in that room as well. So if you wanna trade live with me, where it's 100% on the charts, that's where we do it. Now, if you can't attend that, say if you've got a job still, they are recorded. So the investment there to pick up exactly what we're doing is there as well. Now, stay with me. This is all for a dollar ten an hour, and you'll see why in a moment. Now, I don't openly accept for the, and I've actually got another room, which I don't want to talk too much about because it's booked out, where I'm running a New York session. Uh, it runs from 2 p.m to 3.30, uh, at the moment it's uh, $1,997 for, works out to be 16 weeks, but there I'm giving one-on-one -on -one personal coaching as well. And there's only 15 in the class and I'm booked out with that at the moment. So I am running a New York session in the afternoon. The next one I think is in about four weeks. So with those, I'm asking for testimonials, first time ever, all right? Uh, so here's just a couple of things here and I can go through, look, you probably see these and everyone wants to show you all the testimonials. Thank you. See, I, I teach more than just the trading strategies. I give more than just 27 years of indicator experience and programming and coding and all the other stuff. Um, I'm also huge on the psychology. The setups are easy. They truly are. It's execution of the setups traders. That's what it really comes down to. Uh, from Mark, um, six winners, one loss, 220. Here, um, and actually Jan, I think you might even still be in the room. There's Jan there. I think you wrote this Jan, in 20 plus years, I've studied with numerous webinars. Okay, what an absolute essential, okay, this is brilliant. Uh, Amanda, um, information's incredible. Um, here, uh, Tommy, um, 550, I think it was his first, he went then live, whatever. Um, now this is the important one. This is from uh, Ali, one of my uh, coach, private coaching members as well. Uh, this was just uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, this is a private email sent to me. I want to reaffirm your great point about decision fatigue. As I said, I'm very much about the science of learning because that's what makes it a difference. Uh, Five days, last five days, 90% win rate with an average of 30 points per day, just 30 to 34 Bs, two Bs, and sometimes T28s. That's the pivot magnet trade. Okay, that's the pivot magnet trade. Uh, yes, I'm actually, uh, Adrian, when I trade in the live rooms, I'm only trading micros. Okay, so uh, some, um, I'm actually about to do some next week, I think I'm doing some live trading on the years. And I'll tell you why I only trade micros, because I'm talking a lot I'm like I'm talking now and explaining 100, 110 things at, at once. And sometimes I make mistakes as I'm doing it because trading, traders, trading you have to be focused. You can't be on social media, you can't be watching TV, reading books or talking to people. You've got to be focused. As I say to traders, a bit of a joke sometimes, if you want me to talk and trade, I'll trade your account because it's so easy to make a mistake. I'm just being very direct. But I trade micros most of the time, but today we we're looking at the ear. And Adrian, oh, thank you. Thanks for your understanding, it's understandable. I'm just being direct, but no, I'm trading a real account, but usually micros. And by the way, the majority of members uh, are trading, fewer trading the ES, but yeah. Uh, look, these are just um, traders with their live charts they send in, the results they've been getting. Okay, so and look, I could go on and on. I think 
you've got an idea. I might happen to know what I'm talking about here. And I've been doing this. And if you look at my Google Drive um, here, the members area traders, it is a gold mine. There are literally in some of these folders, dozens, trade station, in the, all included. Okay, I don't charge for them. Now, let's, sorry, get back to this. So what's the bottom line? A dollar ten in air, how does that work? Now, this is a $10,000 plus program. Uh, uh, Andrew, at the end, I'll point that out to you. Stay with it. It's actually a setup that you do. Audio is resolved. Great, Charles. Okay, so this is a 10, and I've got to stop reading comments for now. So let me save you thousands of dollars and years of frustration. So first of all, there's three parts. If you are not a member of the Day Traders Fast Track program, the Day Traders Fast Track program is there's over 30 PowerPoints. There's dozens of training videos. There's hundreds of, literally there is, there's hundreds of, of handouts, etc. There's far more than 15 setups, but you start with two. Okay, you get that. And there's, um, you know, you'll learn time frames, the best time, the markets to trade. It just goes on and on. Now, what I've also done for members, and this will be a good reminder for new members in the room, is I've also had a hypnotherapist record their sessions for you on, on um, strategies for mastering your mind, trading affirmations, etc. It's in a folder there called Four Strategies for Mastering Your Mind. Uh, as I mentioned, there's dozens of videos, there's hundreds of handouts when it comes to charts. I mentioned all the different folders there. Okay, there's just handout after handout, PowerPoint after PowerPoint, but you start with the two setups or even one, two Bs and 34 Bs. There's checklists, there's master lists. You also get, you know, these spreadsheets that I showed you. There's uh, the one there for Excel on calculating your returns. There's one there, how many trades would you need to undertake? And there's also one there on the funds you need. Now, the next thing here is then, you've got to do more than that. You've really got to be coached. And I do that live. And if you can't attend the live sessions, they are recorded and you've got permitted access and there's a ton of handouts that come with it. So in those sessions, we cover uh, all of these things. What are the best times of day? What are the best strategies? What happened that day? We go through psychology, trading plans. And uh, as I mentioned, I've been doing this now for years now. And in each folder you'll get, now once you're in it month after month, a lot of these are the same, but we're adding more. And we have a lot of members that provide indicators and send in their information that we upload, et cetera, et cetera. So I won't go through all the things that we cover, but let me tell you, it's comprehensive. The next thing, traders, is the live trading room. That is really where the rubber meets the load. That's where you watch, listen, and learn in real time as I explain our strategies as they set up in real time. So tick by tick. For an example, just now, we just had it, finally it fired up. Just there, that was a 2B just set up. So what we're looking at in the live trading room, as we're coming, forget that indicator down the bottom. As it's coming back down here, okay, we're getting a bounce. Now, we have, when we have these setups, we call it get ready, get set, go. As we pull back, all you would see in there is not the white candle, all you would see was a green. Look at the trend, first candle, get ready, get set, go, and we're away. That's the simplistic version, but you can see down there, you also had your slingshot just there. So it's doing that in real time, live. Now they're also recorded in those sessions. Now, uh, we've got a lot of members there are trading live, three Bs, uh, 13 wins, uh, and two losses at 86%, everyone was either a 2B or a 2BD. So you'll see most of the emphasis. And a 2BD, if you're wondering what that is, that's simply a 2B after a divergence trade, or we've had divergence and it's a bounce then. Uh, two 34Bs, four wins, um, uh, just it's been coaching class one year. Oh, April says, I don't charge enough. <laughs> that's what April says. So the three components, number one, a fast track program that's your investment for that normally, including all the free indicators, 
all of the videos, the 30 odd PowerPoints, the website price there is $197. The next one is six months of private group coaching sessions. That's where you get eight live sessions a month, two a week, with all the handouts. Website price there is $97. See there, that's $582. Next one, three months in the live London trading room, early New York. That's $197 a month, just there. Uh, now, very important, just on the time frames, I pretty much, for the live room, I've mentioned that 3 a.m. to 5 and 5 to 7. Oh, thanks, Jerome. And as Jerome just said, thanks, mate. And I'll just quickly show you this just so you know it is no BS trade. I agree with April. You don't charge enough. Uh, up here, uh, where is it? Um, David got a new traders trust Ray. These setups, these are all members. So, and thanks, Jerome. I appreciate it. Right, so here it, uh, we've got the live room. So let's get back to this. Plus, what I'll do as a bonus for you, those that join today, uh, for 10 only, you'll, I'll upgrade you for a to a 12 month program. That is rather than six months in the live trading room and six months in the coaching room, you get 12 months. So you get 12 months of coaching, the Day Traders Fast Track program, if you're not a member, plus I'll give you the last 12 months recordings to the private group coaching room. All for $497, it'll save you $3,100 off my standard website price. So in other words, for $2.10 or $1.05 for each hour of live coaching and in the live room, Okay, now if you're already a member, okay, you save a further $100. So if you're not a member of the coaching or you have been in the past, uh, you get 12 months, and some of you I can see have been in it, you get 12 months of coaching and 12 months in the room. So it's basically, what is that? 84 cents an hour effectively. Traders, there is nothing like this out there. Um, uh, I've got hundreds of members and as you can see many have logged in and they're saying I don't charge enough, which I don't. Uh, do you know what the difference is, traders? I love this. I love trading, I love coaching and I love research. Hence, just those research reports that uh, all my members will get from uh, Dr. Huberman. Why? Because when you get the head right, you'll get your trading right. A 2B is a 2B traders. Okay, a 2B is a 2B, like just 2B. So, oh no, oh, that mightn't be a 2B, sorry, I'm just looking here. Let me get to the right. Now, this is choppy as crap, by the way. This is where really we'd be one in a sit on hands there. Let's just drop it down, see what it looks like on a lower time frame. Um, when you get this, and remember that area, this is another area to set up. You've got to be cautious. These are the, This is what we're looking for as traders, a fanning of, the EMAs. So, in to finish, let me just pull this up. Sorry, everyone, let me get back to that chart. Just expand this. Um, Andrew, uh, uh, for the old members, the live sessions are, uh, Andrew, they run from, um, when is it? Uh, from one week, they run, actually, we've adjusted it now. So, one week, they run from uh, that's live coaching, the live trading. It's 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. one week. The next week it's 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. And then we've got um, the, the coaching, the actual live coaching sessions run 6 p.m. every Tuesday and Wednesday, 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, in the go to webinar, Ah uh, yes, Andrew, I'm talking US times, always US. <laughs> Most of you here are from the US, so always US times. So in the go to webinar, you'll see a download there. Uh, right, yes, the three uh, L397 is accessed to the live trade for 12 months. That is correct. It's 12 months, three times a week for a 12 month period. 397. That is correct. Bargain, as we say. So if you're 
um, a brand new member, including the data traders faster programs 497, or if you're an existing member, it's only 397. So it's 12 months of a live trading room. Now that's three sessions a week, 12 sessions a month, I should say, okay? Uh, uh, and the 96 coaching sessions, which is eight a month. Okay, and of course they're always rec uh, recorded and you have permanent access to, and that's in uh, USD, that is correct, Andrew. Uh, Al, Al, thank you, mate, it is a sweet deal, <laughs> absolutely. Now, you'll find to join in the go to webinar link, you can download this if you wish to join. Okay, so traders, do it. There is nothing else like this. If you want to learn how to master get all the free indicators, we look at all different types of charts, but in the end, I'm going to direct you to which are the right ones. Let me just get back to the entry charts here. I'm going to direct you which are the best. Now, some traders love tick charts. What we're looking at right now is an 89 tick, and there are reasons why you still might trade with a tick chart such as you'll get more slingshot trades with a tick. Okay, so there's reasons, but during New York, you're gonna be trading a 500 tick. On the other hand, many traders prefer just to have the smooth Renko charts and to trade off those. And as you can see, the great thing about Renko, it identifies the entries. Now, Blind Freddy can see all of these entries. That's a tricky one. You might be stopped out on that one. See how it come back down just there? Get a pivot bounce and it come back down. You see, and that's where you've got to believe in probabilities, traders. The individual trade means nothing. We think and trade in probabilities of 20 because what most traders do, they enter this one, they get stopped out by a couple of ticks, they poo their pants and don't take the next one. And guess what? That's a golden to be just there, okay? And they would have got it all back. So traders, we've covered a great deal of information. Uh, Andrew, uh, just very quickly, Andrew, and, and for members in the room, uh, let me just show you this. Andrew's had a question about where to find, oops, wanna to go to the general members area, members only, so let me just show you, and actually if anyone is going to join, which you should be signing up now, download it and sign up, take, take advantage of my special. Yes, I am selling my services because they're great value. So over here, if you go to uh, raise charts, where is it? Raise charts, uh, in there, there is, oh, by the way, I've recorded a video there also, but I don't think I've mentioned about the coloring and actually the shading. What I'm better off doing is showing you. So let me show you this. And for existing members on setting up your shade, if you like the shading, uh, just go to your indicators. Let me just go to um, uh, MA Cross Builder. So under the MA Cross Builder, down here, it says color region between. Okay, so color region between. You tick that. Likewise, if you want to have um, uh, arrows appear, you can do the same thing up there. Draw at cross. So see how I've got crossing. Uh, I've got I've got a five crossing the thirteen traders. If you don't know about the five thirteen cross, it kicks butt, and it's a great short term trend following strategy. But then we've also got the T twenty. See just here that here we pull back, that is what we call a 3B. Now, why is that a 3B? Let me show you. Let me show you why we call that a 3B. There it is just there, and let me set this one up. Just good for you to see. These are, and the, the advantages traders of a lot of these setups, oh, well, it's moved along. Well, I've got 3Bs there anyway, 3B, 3B, and I'll show you why. We're bouncing on multiple timeframes. When you're trading the two Bs, you've got a deeper pullback. Do I have a trend? If you don't have a trend, forget it. Go and make a cup of coffee or go fishing for the day. But when you can see you've got a fanning of the EMAs, price rallies up, 
and pulls back. Look at the 89, that right there is a 2B, as it is there and as it is there, it's now made a 3B. I've got a bounce on multiple time frames, and each time frame steps up in time. And I've, I don't want to say I've discovered a formula, but I've got a formula that I use for tick charts, for time charts, tick time volume are all the same. But, and I use a special one for Renko and range. Okay, Renko and range are the same time frames that we use our multiples. Okay, and you get these multiple EMA bounces. Now, as I said from the start, you're sitting back just waiting for these. You only need three or four. Now, see this as you're coming back, just here. Now, that, this is this afternoon. So as we're coming back, we're pulling back, look over at your middle chart. See how your EMAs are still black just there, okay? So that raises a red flag. What I need to see here is one green candle on my anchor chart one, not two, but on the anchor chart one, closing back in the direction of the trend. Let's just wait and see this. Let's hold this here and see what happens. Now, now I've got it, okay? Now, with that close though, that white candle, there is my entry. So remember, whenever you have a deep retracement, you want to make sure traders that the higher time frame closes back in the direction of the trade. Now on this one, and that was at uh, 256 central today, what do we then think? Where's my last major swing high? Here. We may not hit this high, but if you're going for a larger target, that's what we target. Now, when you also have a deeper pullback, remember earlier we spoke about um, trends traders. A trend consists of higher lows and higher highs, and a downtrend, lower highs and lower lows. Well, here we've taken out a number of swings, uh, but note here on the anchor chart, I haven't taken that one out. See how I sort of, I usually remove the swing indicator from the entry chart. And the reason being, it's a lower time frame. I usually want to have it here. So let's just see where this does go. Does it go up and take that high out? Yes, it does. Now look at that there. See you go up there and you test that high within one or two ticks. We see this every day. And in the meantime, you actually had another 2B set up. So if you had have got out, had another one. So traders, come and join, come and become members. So we've actually got a coaching, a live trading room session tonight. So once again, uh, tonight it's uh, 4 a, oh, in the morning, 4 a.m. Eastern, and at 6 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, we've got, of course, um, uh, our coaching room. So live trading room and the coaching room. So traders look forward to seeing you there. So thank you very much for attending. And uh, I hope you certainly got a lot out of this webinar. So thank you traders. Oh, I should just start, uh, sorry, there's a couple of questions. <laughs> Gee, it never stops. Um, uh, Dan just said, am I gonna dress up for my members <laughs> tomorrow as well? Nah, mate, I'm spoiling you, <laughs> okay. Uh, the white candle does not plot. <laughs> You're cheeky, Dan. Um, how do I create, uh, Larry, are you a member? Uh, if you are a member, in the members area, I've, I've positive I've got a folder there on how to set up a heart chart. I ran a webinar on it. So you'll look there. Uh, yeah, Andrew, so you'll just have a look at that, mate. I'm sorry, I can't tell you what the translation is there. Um, so let's see, g'day Rick. Uh, so with the bottom indicator, what's the bottom? Oh, that one there, that's just, um, uh, that's a stochastic. You And if you go into, if you're, I think you remember, aren't you Rick? You just go to that folder, raise charts, and I'll explain it there. There's a little video I recorded on those, mate. Uh, so yes, the super scalper plots on the third candle. The best markets to trade, it comes down to a couple of, um, Simon, it comes down to a couple of things. Number one is your account size. But realistically, if you're trading futures, oil, it's been pretty dicey for last year, but it's settling down. But really the ES, the NASDAQ, gold's not bad. Um, but the micros, if you're a new trader, 
the, the micro NQ and the ES are a great spot to start. I wouldn't recommend the micro CL. Uh, realistic time frame to pick pick it up, how to, how to master the 2B. You know what? I would say 90 days. You can look through it. There's a great paper I've just got hold of. How to master any, it's called the first 20 hours. How to learn anything in 20 hours. Number one, you destruct the skill. Number two, anyway, there's, look, you can learn it quicker, but in the end, you've got to be able to recognize the setups in what I call a blink of an eye. Okay, now that takes time, but guess what? It's only a pattern. It's not rocket science. It really isn't. Uh, do you have to buy any indicators? No, oh, no, there's no indicators to buy. They're all included. The only thing is with, with MT4, uh, there, I don't have, well, I've got links for free Renko's, but I don't know how good they are. But there is a link in the members area in the MT4 to a gentleman, I don't know where he's based, and I don't even know him, but I direct members his way because he's got a great Renko and a Heiken uh chart um, indicator. And so they've been very happy with, oh, I don't know who he is and no, I don't earn a cent out of it. No, I think it's $50 US. So if you do need that, if you want to model exactly, you've got uh, those, you can do that. Uh, lastly, are all the PowerPoints included? Yes, they are. Uh, realistic capital in qu required traders. Look, you really need 800 to 1000 trading capital plus your trading platform. All right, that's what you need. And But remember, you are not going to be live trading for at least one to two months. Please don't break that rule. The markets are always going to be here. You see, what I've also discovered is we tend to bring our personal challenges to our trading. If you are under financial stress and you're trading, you've got to earn money, I've got to earn money because I'm broke at the moment, wrong time to be trading unless you approach it correctly and say, right, for two months, no live trading, now I'm going to, until you master your emotions. Traders, the, look, the setups are easy. Do I have a trend? Look, that's the easy part. It's mastering the head, the emotions. That's what you've got to work on. So traders, uh, once again, thank you very much. And I look forward to having you as members. I'll see many of you in the live trading room uh, later on. So thanks traders. Cheers, everyone. Now, of course, make sure you join. <laughs> okay. You can download that link and we are going to mail out everyone the recording, by the way. Come and join. Cheers, everyone.